This is a great uh, infographic that you're seeing right here to make sure you know how to email a teacher or anyone. Email is still a very important method of communication in this world, so you want to know how to use it correctly. First of all, uh, let's take a look at some of these things. Subject line, which should be a two to five word summary of the email, is not where you type your entire email, because some people do that. Let's be polite and respectful by beginning with a greeting. Get to the point, write the question you have or what you need to tell the person. Maybe something happened at recess, they thought you were at fault, and you want to uh, tell in detail what actually happened. Or if you're getting bullied, this is a great way to do it, to email your, your teachers. You close with uh, 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 another polite way of saying goodbye, and then your name. Very important, even though it's on your email, still really important. So here's what these five things look like. I'm going to compose an email to my teacher, Al Gonzalez. And in the subject, I want to say Alex homework. Straight and to the point. This subject line is not where you type the entire message. A lot of people do that. So now you want to start with a greeting. Hello. Mr. Gonzalez, or greetings, or salutations, something formally polite, because you're emailing a teacher. And then get to the message. I did not get all my topics done last week, but I can do them this week. Thank you. Test one. Now, this is an example of all five of these, and that's how you write a great email every time. So practice this when you write your emails, and then you can send knowing you've done a good job. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Practice that. Oh, by the way, yeah, practice it. Send Miss Berg and me an email message showing that you understand this lesson and that you know how to write good email.